Closed captioning for the Casey Malone Show is sponsored by Hunter Stevens Land Title Agency. Integrity, service, and commitment you can trust. Oh, yeah. Casey Malone is serving up local. It's time for the stories of our region, the tastes, the sights, the sounds, and the people in and around the valley. Get ready for some local flavor on the Casey Malone Show. Today we pay a visit to the family-run Perfett's Sausage on Youngstown's west side. But first, an educational cooking segment for those who really don't know their way around the kitchen. Well, this has been a long time coming. My glamorous girlfriend right here, Carla Miller, is good at so many things. She is a financial wizard. She is a (laughs) fashionista. But she falls short. She is cooking challenged. Never cooks. Does not cook. (laughs) Orders out quite a bit. And I said, Carla, You have got to learn how to cook. So now I'm going to teach you a very easy recipe. And I'm really excited to be here, Casey. Thank you for having me. (laughs) We decided on a nice roasted chicken. Very easy, few ingredients, all readily available, nothing too exotic. And everybody loves a great roasted chicken, right? Yeah, absolutely. I, I mean, mean, you know, I think this, I'm really excited. I'm really excited. So many great chefs make this dish. You know, Jacques Pepin, uh, whatever, uh, Thomas Keller. Thomas Keller from but the French this Laundry. This is Barefoot Contessa. And, you know, I'm not even going to mess with perfection. I make this all the time. And it's so easy, and you are really going to love it. I mean, what dish do you make? What is your go to dish if you're trying to impress one of your suitors? If I'm trying to impress one of my suitors, I make chocolate chip cookies. From scratch? Well, no. From that (laughs) Pillsbury dough that you, but maybe I've tried to pass it off from time to time as real because they are delicious. They are delicious. But that would be my signature and the kitchen smells delicious and it's an easy cleanup. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's get started, Casey. I'm excited. We are going to go over the ingredients and uh, Carla Miller is going to roast a chicken. For this recipe, you'll need one five to six pound roasting chicken, kosher salt, freshly ground black pepper, one large bunch of thyme, one lemon halved, one head of garlic cut in half crosswise, two tablespoons of butter melted, one large yellow onion thickly sliced, four carrots cut into two inch chunks, one bulb of fennel, tops removed, cut into wedges, one pound of small potatoes washed and halved, and olive oil. When you go to buy a chicken, I recommend look for one that really uh, doesn't have hormones and antibiotics right. and all that thing. You know, more natural because they really will taste better. And you don't want to go more really than six pounds. This is a little over five pounds. And as you can see, it's all natural. First thing we're going to do before we prepare it, we have to remove the giblets. So just go right there in the cavity and there's gonna be a little surprise for you. So I reach in here with my hand, Casey. There's (laughs) not a tool for this. No, well, I guess there could be a tool, but you just go in, you kinda, you know, get in there and just, you're gonna have to get your hands Me and the chicken will be like one. You and the chicken are one, and you know, there's going to be, you're gonna really like it. You're gonna get a comfort level with this bird. Right, okay, Pat. so I just put my hand in here. Put and it in, and there's going to oh be a little god. surprise for Carla. Oh my god, oh my god. There it is. Ah! See, and they're already <laughs> prepackaged. You know, that's how kind these people are. They've already, no, we're not going to do anything with this. Okay, okay all so right. I'm just going to. Okay. I did it though. Toss that in I, there. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is rinse the bird. Okay. And you want me to do this for you? Yeah, would you okay, mind rinsing I'll do the this. bird case? I'll do it. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go back to the sink. I'm gonna rinse it and um, bring it right back. All right. So we patted it dry. Right. All right. Now, don't forget to preheat the oven, 425 degrees. This is a high heat because we like crispy skin. Right. Okay? Right. And does that give that the nice brown texture it too? It does. Okay. Excellent. It does. It's very important. So now what we're going to do is I am going to 
open the cavity. We'll use the uh, salt and pepper, and what we're gonna do is generously use the kosher salt. Inside it, the cavity? In the cavity, yes. That's good, okay. very good. A little bit more, we good. Yeah, a little bit more. You can't over salt it. Okay, good job. Now I rubbed it around, now the pepper. Oh, the, yeah, I like this. Isn't that nice? Yeah, I was trying to make it more complicated than it actually is. And they quit making Perfect. it. Perfect. Because I'm going to I'm gonna have to talk to your mom about this pepper. Yes, and everybody wants one, and they quit discontinued this model. All right, so that's good. We have nice, a good lot of salt pepper. and pepper. Slice it in half. Very good. Okay. In, into the cavity it goes. Both, both, both. just one half? Nope, both okay, halves. Okay, and we don't squeeze it or anything, Eileen. Nope. I just put them in just there. Okay. Right in. I'm liking this recipe. Dunk a dunk. Okay, very nice. And we're gonna cut the garlic this way. Okay. Very good. Okay, very good. I got it. There we go. Now I see all the cloves Look in how there. Beautiful. Yeah. Very mm, nice. Smells yummy. And guess what? Just both stick these in here too, stick Casey. Them in. You know, this oh. bird has got a lot of room in there. Now we are going to prepare the outside of the bird. Okay. Okay. So what we are going to do is take this. This is our melted butter. This is our melted butter. And you are going to butter, I'll hold it for you, and we're just gonna butter all the skin. All right, okay. now. the bird is buttered. Now. While I'm holding this, get that salt and pepper. Okay. And just very generously salt and pepper this side, and then we'll turn it over. Okay. All right, that really yes, looks That great. does look good. I like that kosher salt. I do you too. You know, I like you know the what? way it even makes on it the It really the adheres nicely. Ina does not call for potatoes, but I love potatoes. I love potatoes too. So I added those to my recipe. First, let's get um, the fennel going. This is a bulb of fennel. Okay. When uh, I originally asked Casey <laughs> what we were gonna do with the rhubarb, okay, yeah, it informed me <laughs> that it wasn't rhubarb, it was, Fennel. So now I definitely know what fennel know looks what like. It is. So I'm, um, you know, I'm learning. I'm, I'm learning. It's a learning process. It is. And you know what? Now you're gonna know all this stuff. I love fennel. It's got that real licorice taste to it. So here's our roasting pan. And what we're going to do is cut off the top, and um, there go. And then turn it around and cut that stump off the bottom. Okay. Now those, um, you know, the, the top. Okay, now what we're gonna do is cut it in half. Oh, okay, well, you know what? there it's we go. The, it's the bottom, so there this is great. Now we'll just quarter them, and then we're gonna peel it off and just place it in the pan. Okay. We'll be right back to finish up our roasted chicken for the cooking challenged. Hi. I'm Elizabeth Bernard. I've been giving the people of our valley free advice for over 30 years, and my message has never changed. If you're involved in a car, truck, or motorcycle accident, don't try to handle it yourself. Call a lawyer. A lawyer will be your representative, dealing with doctors, medical insurance, and all the red tape that you may face. Hiring a lawyer doesn't mean you'll end up in court, and remember, there are no upfront fees on personal injury cases. That's good advice. Need a lawyer? Learn more at ElizabethBernardLaw.com. RNS Paint is a locally owned paint store and not a paint department. Inspiration comes easy when choosing exciting Benjamin Moore colors and finish. Over 3,400 vibrant and durable colors are yours at RNS Paint. Mayflower Wilm is your full service independent insurance agency. We work with several insurance companies to offer you choices for your insurance needs. We'll find the right product at the right price. Personal, business, farm, life, trust Mayflower Woolham. You focus on what's important, we'll take care of the details. Mayflower Woolham, close by with three locations to serve you.
Tivoli Brothers has a great choice of quality cheeses. We use our relationship with Old World Houses to specially select the product and then have it custom cut and packaged by our own local artisans. At Ruli Brothers Market, our family is in the store. Join the Island Purple Cat family. Employment opportunities are available. Given is living. Si hablas predominantemente español, te ayudaremos a aprender inglés. Ven a trabajar para nosotros. It's going to be my new go-to. I cannot wait to come over and have dinner at your house. I can't wait either. You have a beautiful kitchen that... Um, that never gets used. It goes... Yeah. <laughs> it is sad. My kitchen is sad. It and, won't be for long. Um, yeah, well, we'll see. <laughs> We're working on a new kitchen. A new kitchen for Casey. Oh, boy. Big time stuff. Okay, carrots go in. I already did those for us. And, and I'm very oh, thankful Oh, you know what for I that. forgot? Oh, my gosh. I forgot. Oh, my gosh. Half of the time. I, you know, I'm so excited with Carla in my kitchen. <laughs> I forgot half the time. This time, half of the time also oh, goes in the bird. Oh, that also goes in that bird. My God, this poor little bird is going to be stuck. It's, he's going to be bursting with flavor. Yeah, I'm sorry about that, guys. I'm just so excited to have company in the kitchen. What we're going to do, what size potatoes do you like? You know what? I actually like these small potatoes. The ones that you picked out are perfect, Casey. All right. Do you think You know, I like should, the red um, skins. Do you want to quarter them or do you want to um, have them? Let's quarter them. Okay. Okay. See, I throw these in. Because this, instead of the roasting rack, what we're going to do is this will be our roasting rack for our chicken. It'll sit right on this. And I'm also going to put our onion in here while Carla is cutting. We're going to take the olive oil and we are going to run it all over there. And then the other half of the time that I forgot to almost put in the bird because we've been gabbing and having so much fun. And then you just salt and pepper. Look at I'm getting the hang of you it. You are, look at her. <laughs> so then you just mix it up, you know, because you want to get the olive oil. Oops, and onion. Onion overboard. And then all you want to do is make sure that everybody gets some of the olive oil and the good stuff. Some people like to clip the wings, but I just like to tuck them. And then what you're gonna do is take these little guys, okay. they're so cute. And there's really, there's a million ways to do this, but I like cross it, and then I go like this and cross it under, see? And then you have a nice seal, you know? And then I just wrap it again. Now some people go all the way around the bird and truss it, I just, and then we just set this right on top of our veggies, okay? I like it. Now the oven has been preheated to 425, hour and a half, but my mother's oven is really good. I'm going to check this bird at 115. Carla. Yes? This is the chicken that you have prepared. I love it. Look at how beautiful this is, is to present. The crust is golden. I've already tested it with our handy dandy meat thermometer. It is at a perfect 165. If you don't have a meat thermometer, all you have to do is slice in right here between the leg and the breast and the juices run clear. That's all you have to make sure of. And they did, and look at that skin. And Casey, believe it or not, I don't have a meat thermometer. <laughs> really? But, uh, you know, okay. but this is a great tip. I'm going to have to get you kitchen twine. Yes. I'm going to have to get you so many things. Uh, a now, few things. Now, Barefoot Contessa, yeah. she covers hers with foil to rest for 20 minutes. I do not like to do that because it takes away from the crispness of the skin. So we're just going to let this rest for 20 minutes. I think Jelaine is going to join us for Wonderful. the tasting. And uh, we are going to toast Carla on her roasted chicken. Well, Jelaine, what do you think of Carla Miller's bird? 
I think it looks like a picture in a gourmet magazine. <laughs> I am so excited. Oh. I never expected it to look this fabulous. It's beautiful. Carla, look at it. Look at the and the, I know, oh. and the, the lines and the golden color, and I can't wait to, you and the vegetables, so I am so proud. All right, girls, are we ready? Now, do you want white or dark meat? I'll take white. So everybody, let's take a little taste and let me know what your thoughts are. Mm, everything really looks good. Mm, it's delicious. It's delicious, Casey. Well, don't thank me. It's fantastic. This is this the our, fennel? Oh, this is the garlic. Mm. That's the garlic. And you know what? In the center, look at this, Bill. It looks like a picture. This is now baked. So feel free to go in there and just eat this baked garlic. Oh. It is sweet and sublime once it's been baked like that. And now it has the chicken flavors. Mm. I even went over my wine budget for you. <laughs> and I bought um, Jay. It was uh, this Jane Jordan. Excellent. Um, her Excellent choice. Dad started Jordan, and uh, Ken and I went to uh, Jay on our honeymoon. Drank at the bubble room. One of there the uh, Napa wineries. Yes. Yes. Cheers, Cheers. Carla. Cheers, Carla. Cheers. Job Cheers. Well done. This is your next dinner party, Carla. I can't wait. I can't wait. I I can't wait. I'm I ready. I'm her. ready. I got her the cutest little placemats, and now you can use the darn thing. I can't wait. Mm. Thank you so much. It's been a pleasure. Go to my website, CaseyMaloneShow.com. The recipe for roasted chicken is going to be right there. And uh, you can thank Carla Miller later. Thank you. Cheers. The Casey Malone Show will be right back with more local flavor. To own a business where your name's on the window can be pretty cool. That's my family. My name is Danny Catullo, and I'm the owner of Catullo Prime Meats. My grandfather started the business in 1962. I was able to take our old style butcher shop and bring it out to the new age using e-commerce to get our products to more customers. When we started shipping, there was not a ton of information out there. That's where we really worked with FedEx so they could be able to help us with our perishable shipping. We were taking on new purchases that we never had to make before boxes, coolers, ice packs, anything that was involved around shipping. So we can no longer do this with the cash that we had on hand. So because of the plum card from American Express and all of its benefits, it was a natural fit to help grow our business. And when someone calls and lets you know that you made their dinner, that's satisfaction that you can't get anywhere else. My basement was dreadful. Cracked concrete, chipped tiles, it was my dumping ground. Carpet, vinyl, wood, don't last. Now I have Pebble Stone, the best basement floor covering, made with natural stone and the strongest man-made binder. Pebble Stone evened out my floor. Easy to clean, resists moisture, and withstands flooding. You will love your basement. Call locally owned Pebble Stone, the best flooring system. It's not just any stone, it's Pebble Stone. Ruli Brothers is way ahead of the competition. Check out Ruli Spice World, where you can buy bulk herbs and spices, plus candies, nuts, and fillings for pennies on the dollar. At Ruli Brothers Market, our family is in the store. Here at Creekside Fitness and Health Center, we are focused on you, from cardio and strength equipment to classes and personal training. Your all-inclusive membership gives you access to a full-size basketball court, pool, hot tub, sauna, and steam room and over 60 classes per week are all included free with your membership. Membership and personal training specials are happening now, so come experience life on the fit side at Creekside, your neighborhood gym. Selling engagement rings never gets old. It's love. It's a huge untaking because they're gonna wear that ring probably forever, but if they're not gonna wear it forever, they're gonna pass it down to somebody. Our rings will hold a lifetime and we wanna make sure it does. We stand by every single thing that we sell. I believe I can find the perfect ring. I really try to get them exactly what she would want. And to just be a little part of that is really, it warms your heart inside. Get real, get Kamara. He is back. That's right, Rude the Dude from the Magic Tree Pub and Eatery is open for business. Oh, 
So glad. Yes, Casey. First, I want to thank everybody, all of our guests that have supported us over the last few weeks. Uh, it's, it's been amazing just to see the response. But yeah, we're back in effect. Patio's open, inside dining's open. We're back to full menu. We'll be supporting all of our farms again, all of our local breweries, back to our happy hours, our weekend specials. So, you know, we're following all the guidelines. The staff's excited and it's just, we're, we're ready just to get back and keep going. Farm to table, great service, of course, a huge selection of beer and wine, and oh, I am just so glad. I yes. missed you, Rudy. Yes, we are looking <laughs> forward to it. So thank you again to the community, and we're looking forward to seeing everybody. Come on out, Magic Tree Pub and Eatery. Is it time to update your color style? RNS Paint will assist you with your choice of over 3,400 Benjamin Moore colors. Vibrant, durable, and easy to apply. Be current, be stylish. Shop RNS Paint. It's always good to get new businesses right here in the city of Youngstown, but I am thrilled that right here on my side of town, the west side on South Shenley, we have Perfett's Sausage. And Joe Perfett is the owner, and you were in Gerard for many years over on the south side and how do you like your new home here? It's great. It's been really nice here with everybody coming in. They've been real friendly. Uh, business has increased and it's uh, a move that I should have done years ago. Well, I mean, this is a really good location You're around. So many, yes. uh, you know, good neighborhoods yes. with, uh, you know, a lot of families and things yes. like that. But then you also do commercial accounts and things like that in yes. the back, huh? Yes, we have a lot of commercial accounts that we take care of. Every day we do some kind of production for somebody. And in the seasons, uh, you know, what do you see more in the summer and more in the winter? What, what, what do you produce? Uh, is it more kielbasa in the winter? Uh, more, yes run the holidays and yeah. I make it a lot all year round but I do a lot for Christmas uh, thanks uh, and New Year's Easter because I think summertime you think hot sausage you know right. and sandwiches yeah, and right. on the grill and things like that a lot of patties in the summertime how do you like uh, your business partner since you've come over here to the west side do you like having your daughter uh... yes yeah yeah oh well, yeah yeah she's uh, it's She's not in the with. room right now, so you can tell me. I mean, really, <laughs> how is it really working? No, it's that? good. It's <laughs> is good. It? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And I do think it's nice that your grandsons help out, too. Yeah, they come in once in a while and they do their little thing. Yeah, it's a family business. I, I started 20 years ago in Girard, and uh, we closed in 2009, and, and I decided to do this for the family, give them something to they could have after I'm gone. Yes. And uh, so hopefully they'll continue to do this. We're going to go back and make this hot sauce, but I can't be, I can't look at the ingredients or anything like that, <laughs> yeah, right? Right. Okay. Yeah. So we're making hot sausage today. Is this um, recipe an old family recipe? Uh, no. No, this is something that when I started in Girard, some older gentlemen came in there and helped us with the recipes. And uh, over the years, I've kind of tweaked them to my own likings, the kibasi and the, the hot sausage. And I kept playing with it for the first, I guess, half a dozen times until I hit this one. And uh, everybody came in the store and says, wow, this is great. It's good. I never changed it after that. And it's important to keep that fat in there, huh? The fat. Yeah, fat. you need so much fat to give it flavor. I, years ago, I had a gentleman come in here and he wanted sausage with no fat. So I got boneless pork loins, took all the fat off, and I told him, I says, it's not going to be any good. He said, this is what I want because I'm paying for it. I said, fine. You know, he came <laughs> back in two days. He said, it was the worst he ever ate. The inspector told me years ago that my sausage is leaner than turkey sausage. Well, that's interesting. Yeah. How can that be? Well, this, he said... Because you get such a high cut of a quality of pork. Yeah, they said that... Uh, they sent it out when I first started, and I have like an 18% fat content. I'm allowed 35. Really? Yes. Well, and, I think it's delicious. And he said that uh, this is leaner than turkey. Is this 40 pounds? This is 40 pounds, yes. I mean, it smells. Do you ever get sick of it? No. No, in fact, I love it. Now, how do you like partnering up with your fa your father? Oh, I love it. Is it? I love it. Why by hand? I mean, you you 
think that that's a better distribution and you get a feel you for it? A better mix. Uh, I've never used a, uh, a mixer. I've always done it by this way over the years. <clears throat> I think it's great that you're in business with your dad. Now, originally, what did you do before you joined businesses here? I was a buyer for a company in Kent for 15 years, and about a little over, I guess around four years ago, I was let go, and um, I would come down when I was um, still on with my severance pay and help my dad out and my husband at the time, and I interviewed at a few places, and. After further discussions with my husband, I decided to not go back to work and just work for myself and um, come join business with my dad and carry on his tradition for what he's well known for. I mean, I think you work really well together. I love it. Is there, you know, anything that has innovations, like now that you've come into the business with fresh eyes, mm -hmm. that you've changed or tried to change? Um, I think I was pushing for that linker that cuts the, um, the breakfast links and the um, sandwich size. Um, and then we can also cut into uh, longer links, you know, as well. And then I've also pushed for like the pepper and onion patties and the garlic patties. People have asked for those, so. Well, I think it's great. You've got the boys, you know. I, I love to see, you know, a true family business. It's yes. Good. good luck here. I'm thank so you, glad thank you're here. you. And I love my boys come every once in a while <laughs> yeah. too to help out, so. It's, I'm hoping one day one of them will take over and when I retire and carry on the business as well. The Casey Malone Show is sponsored in part by Denise and John York and the DeBartlow Corporation.